I usually wake up between 6 and 6.30 and I do my regular morning routine. So in the morning, if I'm not having my regular oatmeal because I'm running late, I'll prepare a protein shake for breakfast, which usually consists of organic protein powder, bananas, frozen fruits such as strawberries, papayas, or berries, apple cider vinegar, one third cup of oatmeal. I usually fill up the cup with a third of almond milk and the rest with water. Right now, I'm heading over to the park and ride. I don't drive to work. I take the express bus. So in the morning, I drive about three miles to the park and ride. There, the express bus runs about 15 minutes apart during peak hours, uh, between hours of 6 a.m. and the last bus at 9 a.m. So you can see here, I missed this bus that just went by, and now I will have to wait 15 minutes for my next bus. So you're probably asking, so what happens when it rains? So every morning, I'll look at the weather forecast. If there's rain in the forecast, then I'll take my umbrella with me. This is where I wait for the express bus to pick me up for work. And as you can see, there are other passengers behind me. Fifteen minutes have just passed and as you can see, the express bus have just arrived. The cost for the express bus is $2.65 one way. The cost for the express bus is $2.65 one way. It is paid with my phone. So before Monday, when I go into the app, I add funds to my bus ticket as they call it. When I open the app, I use a QR code to scan to pay for the bus fare. There are many benefits to taking a bus to work, such as not being stressed and stuck in traffic, less wear and tear on your car, 
you save on gas, you can catch up on some sleep, watch TV, or get a head start on some work. I just arrived in downtown, now walking to my walking to my workplace. The walk is about a quarter of a mile from where the bus dropped me off to my workplace. So the building that you see there, the brown high rise building with the tinted windows, that is my workplace. As you can see, there is a lot of construction going on in front and they are building um, a couple of towers, well high rise building. Due to the construction, here is a pathway for employees to enter the building. Now I'm going inside the security checkpoint. I now have arrived on my floor. So here's me walking into my office. So usually what I do, I'll just lay my uh, protein shake down. Um, I don't drink it on my way to work because I don't want to drink it too early and be too hungry before lunch. And so what I'll do is I'll dock my laptop. So I had to make a couple of copies um, this morning. So I'm gonna walk over to the copier. So this is me at work using critical thinking and problem solving skills to solve unique challenges every day. My workday has just ended. I undock my laptop and now take the quarter mile walk to the bus stop. Sometimes I may forget to take my umbrella because I did not check the weather forecast. So if it happens to be raining when I leave work, I typically will run to the bus stop. I don't mind it, it's exercise to me. Like the morning, the express bus runs during peak hours of 3 p.m. to 6 p.m bus runs about 20 minutes apart. I try to catch the first bus depending uh, on the time I leave. So before leaving the building, I'm going to take a quick stop to the restroom.
as you already know, I'm in the downtown area. This is the government center and is also where all the buses stop. So it's like a bus hub for all the buses. So you will see a lot of passengers waiting for the buses. This express bus is different than the other buses because it only makes two main stop, you know, and passengers are typically government employees, uh, attorney office employees, and students attending college in the downtown area. So right here, I'm approaching my bus stop and I will wait for the bus to arrive. So my bus just arrived. Now I'm going to get on the bus. So the ride back to the parking ride from downtown to the parking ride can typically take about 40 minutes up to maybe an hour and a half depending on traffic if traffic is really bad so it can take more than an hour but usually it takes 40 minutes and um, also when there is no school it usually is shorter so this is me arriving at the parking ride where I began my work day and so right now I'm walking back to my car so this is the Anson Park. Um, it is a uh, beautiful park, has a track and field, also have basketball court. So you see a lot of um, kids playing basketball. So at the park and ride, the cars are safe because there are security that is roaming around the um, park and ride. So now that I'm driving back home from the parking ride, I realized that I am low in fuel. So I'm going to do a quick stop at the gas station and to fuel up. for watching my video please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye